It's always nice to rip one down the middle of the fairway, but having a touch on the greens is what can save your scorecard. In this week's lesson on the links, River's Edge Golf Club Pro Eric Granada shows us one key to perfect putting. Well, last week Eric showed us how to get it out of the sand, and now that we know how to get it to the green, we're focused on getting it in the hole. You, know, you could easily see a four or five shot improvement pretty quickly on the putting green. If you just eliminate three putts, you know, you just got on the green and two putted every time, you know, that can eliminate a lot of strokes. When I take my stance to putt this ball, I'm going to have the putter right in the middle of my stance so the ball will be slightly forward from there. I'm going to hinge at the waist so that my eyes are directly over the golf ball. And then when I grip the putter, I'm going to grip it in a way that my hands, my palms are facing each other. And I'm going to do what we call reverse overlap. So my left hand is going to overlap my right hand. There's two aspects of putting. We have distance and accuracy. And obviously we want both of them working together. But if you're going to work on one more than the other, I think distance is the most important of those two. So with distance in mind and our distance control in mind, we're going to try and get this putt within a two foot radius around that pin, ideally just slightly past it, but anywhere a two foot radius around that pin so we can eliminate those three putts. So with that in mind, I'm going to set up to this ball and I'm going to get in good neutral position with my eyes over the ball, focused on my line, make a nice, good, smooth stroke and get this ball to that hole. One of my favorite drills for working on distance control is, I, you see I've got five golf balls lined up here and each one's about five to six feet apart. And what I'm going to do with this drill is, I've laid the pin down about, you know, 18 inches, two feet behind the hole. And with each putt I hit here, my goal is to either, see, one, make it, but two, get it past the hole, but not have it hit that flag stick. If I were to leave it short, then I would have to start back over. Getting the speed right is only the half of it. If you want to start sinking more putts, tune in next week as Eric shows us how to read the greens and get your putts rolling on the right line. For Channel 11 Sports, I'm Travis Kozak.